So welcome back to part two of the Matt Nash I Won't Let You Down remake. In the last part we did the verses and the builds and today we're gonna to focus on the chorus. Uh, but before we jump into that part of the production, we're gonna take a quick listen back to what we did in the last clip. Okay, let's jump straight into the chorus production and see what we can do. So I feel like it makes sense to start with one of the main elements that we're gonna use in here, which is the Reese bass. And as you can see, we've got yet another instance of the Reese pattern. So we're using Reese Free now, which is basically where I've just laid in an extra sound to really thicken it up and add basically any frequencies that we're missing. So this is a really thick kind of sound in Reese bass, uh, Reese Devil, which you can get in Main Stage Volume 1. And also in the MIDI, as you'll see, we're jumping up an octave here at the end of every bass progression. So this is how it sounds. So at the end of the Reese patterns, what we have is this channel pitch automation. And this is basically just completely playing with the pitch. So when we got to this octave jump here, it kind of jumps up another octave as well. So where we've laid up an extra Reese sound, the actual character of the sound really comes from the DST plugin. Again, we're using the low end push here, which just does exactly what it says. It pushes the sound so hard. So as you can see, I'm kind of A and B in it there, and there's just no high mid kind of presence before I boost it. And then at the end of that chain, we've got the Nicky Romero kickstart, and that's being mixed in at about 90% here. And as you can see, we've got a second instance of the brass pattern. Um, so all I've done here again is added in another layer. Uh, this time I'm using this lead sound called Return from Car Music Volume 4. So here's how it sounds alongside the Reese. So now we're gonna add some drums in and I'm starting with the kick here, which I've taken from Car Music Volume 4. It's a really punchy, uh, transient kind of heavy kick. So, so this really sits perfectly amongst all kind of the elements going on in the track. Now we've got some offbeat hits, which have been played to kind of add more groove and percussion elements to the whole song. As well as a hi-hat from Fish in the Lake Volume 3. And then we were introducing the clap from the previous section. So you can see on the processing for the whole drums, we've linked everything to a drum bus, uh, and then I'm using this DST plugin again. So as you can see, I'm just using it on everything. I've got drums, synths, and basses and stuff, and it all just really works nicely. Uh, so with the Fatner preset, what it does is just adds a lot more kind of roundness and low end to the whole sound, as you can hear without it. So after the DST, it's been fed into a CLA compressor just doing like 3 dB maximum uh, peak reduction. So now I'm adding in some impacts and crushes uh, just to really add a lot more top end energy and kind of mark the start of the drops, I suppose. So this is how these both sound. And then every so often we've got these double claps here, which are from Main Stage Volume 1. And they have a bit of pre-shift on them, so they really emulate that, that character from the original song. Now I'm going to move on to this other sound, which is like an arc sound. Uh, it's, it's almost like a really soft synth sound. This is how the MIDI sounds for it. And this is the pad slash arc sound I'm using. It's just a preset, I believe, in the default library. So it's just called pad bench pad. So I think that's a wrap for the entire production um, of the verses, builds and choruses start to finish. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also again, I can't recommend the DST plugin enough because it's such an effective versatile tool. If you want to kind of thicken up your drums as you've seen what we've done, uh, or your bass lines or your synth sounds or pads, it just really does everything. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button down below, hit subscribe and you won't miss our future videos. Uh, and let's go and take a listen back to what we did in the last two parts. Mm -hmm. 